What is up my dudes, Kevin here, I'm back with a brand new Red Dead Online video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys something crazy, a brand new glitch or bug, whatever you want to call it, where you're going to be able to make fish just spawn out of thin air, they're just going to appear out of nowhere, you don't need water or fishing rod or anything like that guys, they're just going to appear out of nowhere, so if this is helpful or you guys enjoy it, remember to drop a like down the video as it does help the channel and comment down below, what do you think causes this to happen, how does this work exactly, and what do you guys think of this method in general, and uh, other than that guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel and let's get right on into it. All right, so like I said, guys, we're literally going to have fish spawn out of thin air. In this area I'm at right now, the fish are literally just going to appear. And I'm going to show you guys in a second. And then I'm going to show you guys a method on how you can farm this. Because I did a little research, did a little testing. And I think I found the best way to do this currently. Of course, maybe there's a better way, but this is what I found. But before we get into all that, guys, big shout out to Midnight Magic Gaming. He's the founder of this method. He found this spot. He found fish just spawning out of nowhere. So he sent it over to me, asked if we could find a method to farm this or just to make it better. So that's exactly what we did. And I'll be showing you guys that. So just want to give a quick shout out to him if you guys want to check him out. But let's get this going. So the first thing you want to do is come on down to this area near Tumbleweed. So let me show you guys on the map. Let me zoom all the way out. So you're going to find a little shack right here, guys. Now, when you're here, you want to go to this area right here, guys, and focus on this rock area in general. Now, when you first get here, there will be no fish. You'll, you'll look just like this. Use your eagle eye. There's no fish around. But the way to get them to start spawning is first come to the spot. Then I want you to walk away to about here. Turn around. And as you can see, when I quickly turn, I'll try to zoom in while I'm editing. The fish, they're appearing out of nowhere. You see them dropping there? It's literally insane. I don't know, like, maybe they were dropping from birds from the sky, but when we watch this back in slow motion, you'll see they're not dropping from anywhere. They're literally just appearing out of thin air. And not only are they fish, guys, they're some of the best fish you can get. Three-star steelhead trout, and you get either anywhere from six to three of them in each dropping. So this one, we looks like we got three, maybe, possibly four if there's more around. So let's pick all these up. That's two. All right, that's three. So as you can see, the trout literally just came out of nowhere. Now, once you loot them, I did a little testing with this. I tried animal carcasses to see if those would get those to spawn again. I tried riding away to different areas and coming back. And what I've come to find is that I believe this is kind of a time-based thing. I think I believe every five minutes or so that they will spawn in. So with that being said, I developed a little method that will be the most efficient way to farm this thing and get you guys the most money pretty much. Now, each of these fish sell for $2.50 each. That's a lot of money. If you get 10 of those, that's some good money, guys, and you can obviously just get these easily. So, after you come to your first location and get your first batch of fish, what you guys want to do now is open up your menu, go to online, and join a new server. Now, we're not going to be doing this the whole method. You just need to do that in this first part. So, join your new free roam. And uh, it'll put you right back in at the same spot. So I'll see you guys in a second once we load in. All right, so we loaded back in, and we're going to run back over to the spot. You should spawn super close to the area. Now, here we go. Now, as we see, fish are dropping in already. And we got a lot this time. We got one, two, three, four, five, five. We got five. I almost said six. I can't count. So let's pick these up. Five is a pretty good number. And just like I said, guys, all three-star steelhead trouts. This spot is insane. I wonder if the like, I was thinking maybe it thinks this little water in here is a body of water and it's spawning the fish in at a pretty messed up angle. Well, actually, there is. How many did I pick up so far? Maybe there is six. Okay, there was actually only five. But as I was saying, maybe this water is picking up as a water source and it's causing fish to spawn in. I'm not really sure because it doesn't make sense. Why are they just appearing out of nowhere? They're not dropping from birds or anything. That's the only explanation I can think of, guys. Now, like I said, I tested a few things with this. You know, you can run away, and then you can run on back, and they won't have spawned back in yet. I've also tried riding down here. I tried farming the spot, and then riding all the way down here and coming back, and they didn't spawn back in. I tried riding all the way down to here and coming back, and they didn't spawn back in. But what they did happen is, even if I did that run, I came back and they weren't there. If I waited here for a couple of minutes and then did this whole little deal again where I run away, turn back around, 
they would start spawning in again. So what I'm thinking is this is time based guys. So whether it's five minutes or 10 minutes each spawn, I'm guessing it's time based. So what I decided to do is after you switch servers and you have a full amount, I believe I have about eight or so right now. Yeah, so I have eight right now in my inventory. So what you could either do is join the other server and make that 10 or what I'm gonna do is get on my horse. We're gonna ride to the butchers guys right here in Tumbleweed. It's super close. Then we're gonna sell our fish come back by the time we come back the new fish will be spawned in we'll loot those and it's just an endless cycle of constant money guys without any work it's super super fast definitely one of the fastest methods i've come across so far for sure because if you think about it it takes what only like a minute and a half to load into a new server for me at least i guess it kind of depends on your internet but if you go to the spot take a minute and a half to load and then you go back and you have the other fish you have a full inventory of fish within like two minutes which is so easy and then another minute to go sell it so three minutes you're getting what two dollars i don't know what the i don't know what the price is actually let's get a full batch so i can show you guys the full amount of money might as well let me join another lobby all right so here we go let's get our last final fish make sure you guys use your eagle eye so you can see them because sometimes they're spread out as you can see they're not always in the same exact area but they're in this whole general area so we got four right here i only have room for two so let me take two then we'll head on into the butcher guys and i'll show you the next part of this method and what you need to do to create a constant cycle is where you can just keep going and going all right we're back at the butchers and tumbleweed let me show you guys how much these go for so we got 10 steelhead trouts all three stars as you can see two dollars fifty cents each and that's gonna be 25 dollars in total for only a few minutes and no work at all it doesn't take any grinding it's literally the easiest way to make money 25 bucks just like that boom done now at this point get back on your horse we're gonna ride back to that same exact spot and by the time we get there new fish will be available and we can just put them oh, welcome to red dead online but it doesn't affect us thankfully we already stole all of our stuff and that's the good thing about these fish nobody can steal steal your stuff so it doesn't really matter all right so here we are back at the spot and fish literally just fell right when we got here so as you can see by the time you go to the butchers and come back there will be new fish for here for you guys so all you do is pick them up and you're good to go and we'll continue the process from here so at this point once you pick up all the fish that are here make sure you got them all uh, seems to be another one hidden right back here let me grab him there we go all right so it looks like we got four that time now you can continue the cycle you'll join another server loot the fish and go from there or you can honestly if you really want to you can just go back and forth from the butcher you can get your bunch go to the butcher sell it come back get your bunch go to the butcher and sell it but for me i personally like to go with full batches so i'm gonna go ahead and continue this method complete this method for you guys and then uh we'll be on our way all right we're back in we got a bunch of them all spread out this time so let's grab them all let's pick them all and all up we got one two three four five i think i saw two down there we might have enough to get a full batch from this one ghost. Let me grab all these guys. All right, looks like we got one, one or two of them stuck behind this thing. I can grab it. Here we go. Right, let's pick up this guy right here. So I think we might have a full batch. I don't think I even got that last one. Okay, we have nine of them. Ah, and there we go. There's the last one in there. So we actually got six this time because we got four from the first one. And then we got six from here. So yeah, there we go. Ten. And let's see if I can grab this last one. It's kind of glitched. I might not actually be able to get him, boys. Okay, yeah. This fish is kind of glitched under this water container. I don't think I'm going to be able to get him, guys. He's Yeah, he's just stuck down there. I can't grab him. But as you can see, you can get a different amount of fish from each time. You can get anywhere from three or up to six if you're lucky so it's kind of random at that part and as you see doing this method you can do it constantly constantly so at this point since i have 10 i'll go back to the butchers sell it come back on this same server loot this spot then switch servers get up the remaining fish once i have the full amount go sell it again and repeat so you can guys just go over and over with this cycle definitely the craziest method i've come across so far the one that makes the least like sense at all we had the deer carcass one which was pretty crazy, but at the same time, it made sense. They're eating, they're eating the carcass and whatnot. They're coming up to eat. But this one, they're just appearing out of thin air. I don't really have an explanation, but I'm going to look more into this, see if I can find out some better ways to do this and what other stuff we can do with this. And um, I'll get back to you guys on that one. But other than that, guys, if you enjoyed this, drop a like on the video right now and comment down below. What's your thoughts on this? That's about it. 
and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time for a brand new video. Peace.